Your new book, The Warrior Poet Way, shows young men how to live this life. You have 10 basic principles. What are these? What does this look like? Yeah, so uh, the Warrior Poet Society is really more of a secular movement. It's a pretty wide net, and so all kinds of different ideologies can come under that umbrella. I happen to be a Christian, and so some people in our movement, they aren't. Some people are unbelievers. Some people are Buddhist or Hindus or Muslims or whatever. And so the big idea behind Warrior Poet is I wanted to make it really broad because it is really an ancient brotherhood that really stretches far back. However, I am a Christian. And I believe that's the correct worldview. I believe God really did become a man to rescue us from our own sin when we were dead in our sinful nature. And so uh, Jesus made us alive and he serves as the ultimate warrior poet, the uh, beautiful dichotomy embodied of the consummate warrior, as he's called in Revelation 19, the commander of the Lord's army who would throw Satan headlong uh, from uh, the heavens upon sin and who's be ready to strike down the nations with a rod of fury will rule them with a double-edged sword of he is a commander. He is a king and somebody who doesn't realize that about Jesus just doesn't know their Bible. Uh, however, Jesus also being a lamb, a, a, a poet, uh, took armor and set it aside to be able to come on a rescue m uh, mission on earth enemy controlled uh, terrain to rescue us and die for us. And so he is the consummate warrior poet, somebody who lives a life of sacrificial love and who has immense power and strength, but only uses it when it is necessary. So you see strength and love and humility all crushed into the consummate warrior poet, Jesus Christ.